still on Thursday, April 25th, 2013. This video, we've got a green light. This is the Joe Dirt 69 Dodge Daytona Charger. Um, this is obviously meant to look weathered. It's supposed to be that way. Um, and uh, this was one I mentioned in another video that I wasn't going to get it, but I figured what the hey. I was getting some other items from local Meyer and uh, didn't want to just put like five bucks on my de my debit card, so I went ahead and put ten bucks with this edition. So we'll go ahead and crack it open. Maybe I had a better blade in my knife here. This is a green light, so you know it's going to be all metal. The only ones that really aren't are their, uh, like those VW buses and that kind of thing, those little five-pack series. Um, they might have some metal ones, but that's the only ones I know of. So we've got a metal base, rubber tire with tread. I don't think we have any opening hoods or anything. Oh, yeah, we do. I guess we do. So again, this is set up to look weathered, and uh, so you've got just a front basic steel rim with a thin white wall on it. Obviously, you got painted fender there, bluish. This one's got some patchwork done on it, different color. Blue interior, I don't really care for the interior. The top is kind of a rusted primer look. But you do have all the important details there, like uh, painted real t rear uh, taillights, Got the little uh, Joe Dirt plate there. Of course, you got the big wing. Other side, yeah, the doors are actually the same color, but so you got some rusting at the top and the fender. I don't remember the, I've only watched parts of the movie once. I don't remember if it looked anything like what was in the movie. Of course, we got the famous nose piece. And then we've got the motor. So it looks like the car used to be purple. And uh, they painted it because the inside of the engine compartment's purple. Nice little detailed motor there. Of course, a nice closing hood. There's the top of it. They should have made the interior look a little cluttered. That probably would have been hard to do, but anyway. Um, and obviously, the, this side has matching wheels. You've only got one wheel that's mismatched, which is makes it more realistic. You got a flat or something, who knows. So we'll let that spin for a few minutes there. A few seconds, not minutes really. And then we'll open up the last green light that I have. And it will be the last of the eBay finds in another video. So some of you may or may not want to see each of these cars, so we'll just put them in separate videos. So there it is. If you have any questions or comments, post those below. Subscribe, and uh, as always, thanks for watching.